Okay, go ahead. Okay, in 1971, Grandmaster Zhang immigrated to the United States to start his dream of teaching Taekwondo. When he came to the U.S., he settled in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and began working at a gas station to earn money in hopes to start a Taekwondo school. Because he didn't have much money, uh, he did treat himself to a local KFC every Friday where he ordered a meal for 99 cents. In 1973, Mr. Jung obtained a building on Mount Vernon Road, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, where he shared the building with a barber shop. He started with only one student, and by that time of the first test, 12-5 of 1973, he had 12 students. One of those students was Master John Becker. Master John Becker went on to be Mr. Jung's first black belt, and the first woman black belt was Angie Clemish. By then, Mr. Jung was well on his way to doing great things for Taekwondo. Uh, Mr. Jung has accomplished many things for Taekwondo while consistently demonstrating his passion and devotion for living the tenets of Taekwondo. By 1979, he outgrew the Mount Vernon Road School and with land donated by Mr. Tate Clemish, Mr. Jung built a new dojang which included a fitness center on the southwest side of Cedar Rapids. Over the next 34 years, he built 10 more fitness centers nationwide. He, he didn't just hire contractors to build these fitness centers, he poured his own blood, sweat, and tears into building these buildings as well. And we all can witness to that. In 1981 was the start of the Taekwondo Times Magazine, which is still going strong today worldwide. In 1985, Mr. Jung held his first U.S.-Canada Taekwondo tour, sponsored by Taekwondo Times Magazine. Over the last 30 years, he toured South Korea six times and North Korea six times. In 2002-2003, Mr. Jung published an autobiography of his life the autobiography was printed in Korean and in English. 2005, he started the Jung's Family Charity Foundation. The foundation has enabled 15 children to get 12 palate surgery. The foundation is still going strong today. In 2006, Grandmaster Jung went on tour of six countries, U.S., France, England, Austria, uh, Argentina, and North Korea. While in North Korea, he visited the 38th parallel and broke boards for peace. <clears throat> this was such a story that the Associated Press paid nine million dollars for an article sent out through the U.S. and the world. Nine million dollars. In 2008, he published the instructor book titled Best Instructor, Best School. This book was also printed in Korean and English. In 2009, uh, the Cedar the city of Cedar Rapids awarded Mr. Jung the Wu Jinjung Tree Monument. This stone, this is a stone bench which is engraved with some of his history on it. Uh, it was symbolically placed at the former KFC on First Avenue by the tree that he, uh, he has a picture standing by. And that's on the southeast side of Cedar Rapids. So if you ever get a chance, to go visit that tree. It's, it's uh, the monument. It's, it's pretty cool. 2007, Grandmaster Jung invited the North Korea Taekwondo Goodwill Demonstration Team where they had visited five cities. In 2011, he invited the North Korea Taekwondo Goodwill Team Demonstration back and they visited three cities. He did this without any government involvement. In 2013, on April 6th, Grandmaster John held the first and last Pioneer Black Belt Test. 55 of the first generation Black Belt tested. It was like no test that had ever given and once in a lifetime test. Grandmaster Jung told me he felt like he was 25 years younger seeing all his first generation black belts back in the dojang all lined up. He became very emotional during his speech before the test and many of us remember this statement, if you're not here, I'm not here. I mean, if it weren't for us, he wouldn't be here, but I think it should be the other way around. If it weren't for him, we wouldn't be here. <clears throat> uh, after the test, we had a very special banquet where we sat around and talked about old times with friends we hadn't seen for some years. I'll never forget this. Since 1973, with testing every two months, Mr. Jung has held 239 tests and only missed two of those tests. He has shown great dedication to all his students.
for the last 30 years, Mr. Junk has saved all the test money, which totaled $100,000, and has donated it to the Black Belt Association for future generations. <clears throat> he may be the only instructor ever who has donated such amount of money to back to Taekwondo. During the past 40 years, Grandmaster Jung has promoted over 5,200 black belts and has taught over 190,000 students through his 48 branch schools, which is awesome, awesome, and uh, in the Midwest. That is an amazing feat. Uh, like I mentioned in the beginning, there are, these are just a few of the accomplishments he has done over the 40 years. If you want to see all the accomplishments and awards, go to JungsTKD.com. Take a look at them all. Believe me, there are a lot. Grandmaster Jung stated, if seven years more life, he would like to have a ninth and promotion test. This would be the first time in Jung's history where he has promoted a white belt all the way up to ninth dan. This too is amazing. In closing, I just want to say you are an amazing person, Master John. Words can't express what you mean to us. Pardon me. You are the prime example of living the tennis of Taekwondo, and you have taught all of us. He is one of the few traditionalist Taekwondo instructors around. We have to thank you, sir, for your passion and all the hard work you've done for Taekwondo for the years and allowing us to celebrate this milestone with you. You are a true testament and a pioneer, sir. something we want to present to you. Yes, sir. Y'all stay here, sir. <laughs> Master, Master Phillips? Master Phillips? <laughs> Master Jump? What's on, sir? On behalf of your former, present, and future students, sir, We'd all like to present you with a Grandmaster new belt, maybe not the old one you have. Okay? Congratulations. First time I met Mr. Jung was 1976. I took my last final. My brother said, you got to see this guy. And I said, okay. He was sitting in that little office, his feet up on that little heater because it was cold in there. And I told him I want to start Taekwondo, and he says, how much can you pay? And I said, how much does it cost? And he still told me it would cost this much money, and I said, too much money. I can't pay that. And he says, what can you pay? So I said that, and he said, okay, here. And he says, when can you start? I go, tomorrow. No, you start today. <laughs> <laughs> so I started that day twice a week, okay? It just got more after that. So I'm fortunate to be here. I've met a lot of people here, but I've never, I've never met in my entire life. <clears throat> all trades and all forms of life, all educations. And I've gone places that I never would have gone. And it's because of this man and all of you people and from Taekwondo. So I hope all of you enjoy it as much as I have. The younger ones, you're the next future. Okay? As Mr. Jung says, pretty soon maybe me on Boneyard, okay? You guys take over. So on behalf of all the students, sir, and myself, I'd like to present this to you, sir.
Linda. Just two, sir. Put it in. Eastern style, everybody left. I look at that. <laughs> Western style, now look at that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm sure it's either one, all right? Yes, sir. Sometimes I'm Eastern style, sometimes Western style. But now I'm trying Western style. <laughs> Anyway, 
I'm a lot of taekwondo now and then uh, a body range. A taekwondo is a lot of now a sport, a style. So basically South Korea or Olympic, long way. Judo go to Japan, judo go Olympic, judo is a long way to Japan or more. But I say we pioneer people all over the world, the 200 country now. Traditional Taekwondo style, they still over there. I think okay, that's the way myself. I think okay, and uh, uh, I know about two time and uh, goodwill to among own country to divide the country Korea, and I live here citizen. I'm invited two times. First to invite. 16 years, 1991, they came 2007. 16 year time, I'm invited here. That's the North Korea government, U.S. State Department, South Korea. I'm not a political person. I call all the time Iowa problem. But in Damitable Street, I think, that way, well, everybody know, first year, LA, San Francisco, Philadelphia, Louisville, and then Atlanta. Second year, Boston, New York, Philadelphia. But two nations, two. But this is a non myself. Everybody you have with it. Also, all you have to take on the people today. That's it. But WTF, ITF, everybody say, take on the best history, put where to a two enemy country, take on the make a peace relation. If you're not here, I don't think I'm not making it. And then also 2006, so we are 38 parallel of both uh, South Korea, North Korea borderline. We are doing 120 balls in the map and the production board. And the line save uh, $9 million make the association for that AP. They not give me penny anything. <laughs> but that is a tech on the make the breaking to bore the line, uh, the kind of time that I did that. But anyway, a lot of small kind of, kind of, kind of. But now the website is very good now, more starter, and then uh, Dan, Dan Frank also a lot of help, and then Danny also a lot of help, second of time also a lot of help. Website is very important, everybody knows, right? But, Next generation or whatever now and then I know now till pioneer also too late now. You next generation please. Okay. Well I'm rather mistake I think. Some of them go lot of bad times, I know. So who's under the percentage? Nobody under the percentage, right? Except over there, God. Jesus cry only hundred percent nobody. But I'm too much strong charisma or sometimes a little bit, sometimes it's a mistake and pilot. And then uh, we Taekwondo continue. I hope so here, young Taekwondo, Midwest, Iowa area, next generation all over the world, the leaders, I think, all right? You can do that. Taekwondo times here, we are traditional here. I'm rather a history maker. Why better to nice degree? I don't know, not too many. If I move every 10 year, every 2 year, I can do that. I am in Korea also, why better to nice degree? No, any dog, no. Well, here is a part where I'm another seven more years alive. Why better to nice degree? And then, uh, very history of a tech one in the world. All right, anyway, I say, Samsamida, <coughs> Pearson, and you're not here, I'm not here. And uh, thank you very much. A lot of good food here. Some people to uh, whatever, about almost a four-hour drive. Who's a four-hour drive? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the last anniversary, myself, all right? <laughs>
Over here, the plates are First, here. First, let's, let's give the, the cooks around the applause. Mrs. Yeah.